Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I am back in the kitchen canning. I haven't canned in a few weeks. Today I am canning up some Hoppin' John just in time for the new year. Now, if you don't know what Hoppin' John is or you've never had it before, if you eat it on New Year's Day, it is to bring you prosperity throughout the year. It is a great gift item to give to your friends. So if you can it up, you can give it out for New Year's. We're gonna make the base. Hoppin' John is mixed with rice. So we're gonna go ahead and make the beans and can them. And then when you open up to serve it, you're just gonna heat it up and mix it with cooked rice. It is so good. And if you like, you can keep it on your shelf for all year. You make it ahead of time, then you have it for New Year's Day. No cooking, a day of rest. You just steam up some rice. I guess that's kind of cooking. And heat up your Hop and John mix and mix them together. So good. You're going to love this. This video is brought to you by Pure Mason Jars. I'm going to be using all Pure Mason to can my Hop and John. And the first thing I'm going to do is get my jars into some hot soapy water with white vinegar. I'm gonna let them soak for 15 minutes. I'm gonna wash them up and then I'm gonna start prepping the veg. I will get it all cut up and I will bring you back when I'm there. All right, I have all of my stuff ready to go. Um, I am using my pure mason jars and I'm doing mine in quarts. You can do yours in pints if you prefer. First thing I'm gonna do is put my beans in. I am using black eyed peas and I did a quick soak method on my black eyed peas. If you don't know what the quick soak method is, I'm gonna go ahead and link that video in the description box below for you. So, if this is a simple recipe, what goes into this? Black eyed peas, bell peppers, I have three bell peppers. I have a red, a yellow, and um, in orange. I couldn't find green, believe it or not. I would have put a mixture of red and green in here, but I could not find green peppers anywhere. Sorry, I'm crying. I just cut onions. They were super duper strong and I cried a lot. <laughs> I did three large onions. I have seven pieces of bacon, so I'm going to divide this up, hopefully one piece of bacon per jar. I left it completely raw. I don't like to cook it before I put it in because I want it to cook inside the jar and have all the, the bacon fat throughout the beans. I love that flavor. And then I have two cans of tomatoes. You can use your own home canned tomatoes if you like, or if you have fresh Roma tomatoes, you can put a Roma tomato per jar, just chop it up, you know, of course, um, peel it, seed it, and chop it and drop it into each jar. And I have seven cloves of garlic. I'm gonna be putting in each jar. And I have uh, powdered chicken bouillon. Y'all know I love this stuff. You don't have to use this. You can just put hot water in, or you can use hot chicken broth. Or if you wanna use hot beef broth, whatever kind of broth you wanna use, feel free. So I, what I'm gonna do is put my black eyed peas in here. And I want probably just under a halfway full jar. What I don't like is when your um, jars, <laughs> your beans soak up all the liquid and then you have a jar of dry beans sitting there. So I like mine a little bit more liquidy. Plus, when I heat these up, I will mix it with some rice, some cooked rice. Whatever juices is in there, it will mix right in with the rice. It is uh, so good. Uh, my daughter-in-law's birthday is January 1st. They love it when I make this uh, along with everything else. So we do eat this on January 1st, New Year's Day. And I let everybody pick their birthday dinner, so we always do a big birthday dinner. So no matter what we're eating, this will go right along with it.
Make sure I got them all kind of even, Steven. is done. I'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes in. I guess I should be using this thing. I'm terrible about it. I just kind of plop stuff in. That's my water boiling over there. And I just put it in my electric kettle. If you don't have an electric kettle or a tea kettle, just put it in a, a pan, a big pot. I'm putting kind of the uh, tomato juices in there too. I'm trying to divvy it up so that it's all kind of even. It's kind of gloomy today. It has been chilly and rainy all week, all through Christmas. It rained. That is so weird for Arizona. Here in Phoenix, we're usually sunny. Not super warm this time of year, but sunny. So if you're from the South, uh, let me know in the comments below if you make Hop and John for New Year's. I'm dying to know how many of you make this. You probably don't can it, but just making it to eat it is so good for uh, January, you know, like, or for New Year's Day. <laughs> the smell of them cooking in the pot, oh my gosh. You could also just make a big pot of instant pot of um, Hop and John. That would be wonderful as well. I'm going to put all my garlic in right now. Yeah, I kind of take the hard route here. But at least this is how I know <laughs> that I'm getting one garlic clove per jar. And you know, I'm, I love garlic and normally I would do tons of garlic, but I don't necessarily want my Hoppin' John to be garlic flavored. Therefore, I put one clove in just to fla help flavor it. But I don't want garlicky Hoppin' John. This is all about the black eyed peas, man. Okay, now that that is in, let's go ahead and put our bacon in the middle. So I'm dividing this up as even as I possibly can. Okay, just wanted to make sure I get every last piece of bacon off my board. And then, bell peppers. I may have too many of them in here. When I cook this on the stove top, I use about a bell pepper um, or two bell peppers per pound of beans. And I'm, I'm using one less here for the canning. So I will put um, this recipe in my um, up on my blog for you. Just know if you want to make this, half it to put it in your Instant Pot. Or your pot on your stove. However you want to cook it. I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way up with onions 
Keep in mind the onions shrink up when they cook. And the bell peppers will too. I'm gonna open up my chicken bouillon here. I've got chicken bouillon and parsley, and you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put dried parsley in first. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of dried parsley per jar. And I am also putting a teaspoon of powdered bouillon per jar. Canning salt, I have one quarter teaspoon per jar. You would like to add more, feel free. Salt content is all about what you like. And if you don't want to use any salt at all, don't use salt. You don't have to use the, the powdered chicken bouillon, just use hot water if you're trying to keep the sodium down. Black pepper, I'm just going to do a couple shakes per jar. Not measuring the black pepper. I like a little, but not a lot. Black pepper does get really strong during canning. I made the mistake of following Ball's recipe for onion jam and using the amount of white pepper in that. I will never forget it. Holy moly. Okay, I am going to start filling. because I know for sure I'm gonna to have to refill this. I'm gonna take my lid off my canner. Hopefully you can all see at this angle a little bit better. I tried to pull you back a little bit. Okay, get this stirred up and debubbled at the same time. We need an inch, but I like to leave about an inch and a quarter. That's a new recommendation for meats. Um, you know what, on the big jars, I'm gonna leave only one inch. On the, the small mouth jars, I will leave an inch and a quarter. For some reason in my canner, I don't know if it's my altitude, the small mouth jars always siphon slightly. Not a lot, but slightly. These smell yummy. Oh man. I love when you're canning and you go to put the hot water in or the hot broth. Oh my gosh. And you can smell everything coming together. Oh my gosh. I love that smell. I don't know. Cooking. I get really excited over cooking and canning. Call me weird. Okay, I'm going to have to put more uh, water in. White vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and go around my rims here. Oops, I didn't turn it on. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, make sure that they're clean. I'm using white vinegar just in case the bacon touched it. Because bacon is greasy. All right, and um, I am using Harvest Guard lids today. So I have had them soaking in some water and I put my little um, 
what do you call it, Sharpie mark on here, that this is the first use for this one. Oh my gosh, I forgot to bring over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, screw bands. So I've got all those marked. I mark them with it before I even put them into the sink to wash them. Okay, let me go grab my bands. It's been a month since I canned. Okay, so hold the lid still. You're gonna fingertip tight and then back off slightly. It needs to vent. Fingertip tight and back off slightly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my canner. water just in time. For my last couple jars here. I even have a shirt that says so. <laughs> I'm gonna get these guys up buckled down. Oh man, I miss my camera. up to heat between five and six, not completely on high. Um, I let this go ahead and come up. When this starts steaming like a freight train out of the pet cock, then you start your timer for 10 minutes. This is very important to vent this for 10 minutes. Then I will put my weight on. I am at 15 pounds of pressure for my altitude. You're gonna to wanna to check yours. Then I wait for my gauge to come up to pressure and when it comes up, then I start my timer. According to this book, the USDA Complete Guide to Home Canning, this has most beans canning for uh, 50 minutes for quarts, but I put bacon in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, process these guys 90 minutes. Okay, here they are out of the canner. It got really late last night, so I took them out and um, let them cool off. So they're completely cooled. It is in the morning and they are all sealed. I just need to wash them up. And I did get a little bit of uh, siphoning out of the regular mouth jars, um, two of them. So otherwise they're all completely sealed. They smell delicious. These are nice to have on the shelf because they're delicious, but you can also share these. You can make them again. You can make them in pints. You could make them in half pints if you wanted to share them with your friends and give them as New Year's gifts. And I do want to put the disclaimer in here that this is not an approved canning recipe. Why isn't it approved? It's not approved because 
I haven't gotten so popular that the USDA has felt the need to pick up my recipes and test each one of them. So, uh, everything in here you can can, okay? There is one piece of bacon in each jar. It is okay to can this this way. You can, you can can black beans. You can can onions. You can can tomatoes. You can can spices. So everything in here is acceptable to can. There's a difference between uh, recipe tested and unsafe. This is not recipe tested, but is safe. Make sure that you do your own research before canning. You should know the sciences behind canning before you do so. All right, that's all there really is to Hoppin' John. It's delicious and said to bring prosperity for the new year. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.